Today we're going to be talking about Lightroom and Photoshop. I get a lot of questions about which is better or which one should I use and hopefully by the end of this video you should have a much clearer understanding about both. You can't really compare the two about which is better because it's like a spoon and a fork. They both have their own uses and purposes. So let's get into the video and I'm going to do my best to explain the differences between Photoshop and Lightroom. Okay, you have Lightroom and you have Photoshop. So basically once you get off a of photo shoot, you come home, you put all your pictures that you just taken in a folder and Lightroom is perfect for that because you can just load up the folder like I did here with the Porsche pictures I took at the Porsche car lot. I can view them, click on each one of them and pretty much browse through all the pictures. If I just had Photoshop, I couldn't do that. I would have to like manually open each picture, look at them and it wouldn't be as organized. This way, they're all laid out in front of me. I can compare, I can open them side by side, whatever. So basically Lightroom just lets me organize everything cleanly. So if I wanted to edit this picture, this picture, and this picture, what I could do is I can give all those pictures a one star rating and then click the one star filter and only those pictures will show up. So I know that I don't have to look through all the pictures. I know that these three are the ones that I picked to edit. Or if I don't want to do the stars, I can give them a color rating and just label them like red or something like that. So I can click the red filter and all the pictures that I label red will pop up. So there's pretty much two ways that you can organize the pictures that you have here. Usually what I do is I go through and I give every picture that I might want to edit a one star. And then once I give it a one star, I hit the one star filter and I look through it again and I eliminate any pictures that I might want to take out. All right, now that I've gone through and I've picked five pictures that I possibly want to edit. Like I said, in Photoshop, I would have to open each picture just to see what it is. Uh, I wouldn't have any way to organize them or flag them in any kind of way. So that's what Lightroom is really good for. Lightroom is also good for batch editing. So if I slightly edit this picture, so if I start editing this picture, correct the white balance, bring down the exposure some, and the highlight. Let's say if I want to take that look and apply it to all the rest of the pictures. I can just select all of the pictures, hit sync, hit synchronize, and now all of the pictures have that same look to them. Now this is where Photoshop comes in handy. What if I want to apply this preset on top of this preset like what if i wanted to mix the two or what if this preset was just too strong and i wanted it uh a little toned down well there's no way to do that in lightroom because you don't have layers you can't adjust things that you apply to it like you can in photoshop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this picture in photoshop now photoshop might not be a good organization tool but it's a good editing program so I can d duplicate this layer twice. Or I could just hit Command J. And I'm gonna pick one layer and I'm gonna apply one preset. So in the camera raw filter, I pretty much have all the tools that I have in Lightroom. I can just all the colors and everything like that. So I'm gonna go to the preset that I had at first in Lightroom. And I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to go to camera raw filter and I'm going to pick the other preset, which was in the codec film. Okay, like that. So now I have this preset. I can turn it down as much as I would like and get it just how I want. So I don't have to keep it all the way up. So I can apply it to like right there if I wanted to. I turn this one on and put it where I would like to. So what if I wanted to like right there like what if that was the perfect look I wouldn't be able to get that in Lightroom so now what I can do is I can merge those together hit exit save it now if I go back to Lightroom there it is so I have the original picture like I had at first and now I have what I just did in Photoshop and then from there I can go ahead and adjust it how I want bring down the highlights or whatever Go to Tonkers. You know, whatever. Just do your thing with it. But basically, that's how I would use the tool. Or if you have something like this. Uh, this was like shot at noon in a very horrible location. But that's just what the dealership had for me. So what if I want to take this picture and do some Photoshop magic to it? Like... 
like if you see this part right here where the sun is shining what i could do i can copy this ad copy paste click the transform tools i'm going to flip and then zoom in and get lined up kind of straight hit this or slow the faces so i can see the window I'm not gonna full out go ahead and edit this. I'm just showing you for you know demonstration purposes. Let's get it lined up with the window. Uh, that looks pretty good right there. And then I can just blend it in with a layer mask because that's the benefit of Photoshop, right? I mean, I, I'm not gonna blend it all the way in, but stuff like that is what Photoshop is really good for. Now, yeah, you can go ahead and do the entire edit in Photoshop if you want to, that's good and fine. But if you have a large batch of pictures or you wanna organize things and sort through things and pick through things, that's what Lightroom is really good for. You can do all the editing in Lightroom or you can do all the editing in Photoshop. They both have their own purpose and like, once you finish with one, you can go to the other. I can still go back and edit this picture like I had in Photoshop. I can still go and apply another preset on top of that. So that's like the other two presets that I apply in Photoshop with this one on top of it. Uh, it's good for exporting. So I can like select all the pictures that I edited, go to file, export, and it'll give me all my export settings. So Lightroom is really good for management, management and general editing. When you really need to get down and deep into things, Photoshop. But like I said, you can do everything in Photoshop. There's no problem. It just won't be as organized. So you can't really say one is better than the other because they both pretty much serve a separate purpose. That's the reason why they both exist separately because some things you can't do in Lightroom that you can in Photoshop. I can completely manipulate this picture in any way that I want. Versus photo versus Lightroom, where I'm pretty much limited to a certain set of tools that they provide for me. So if you can only pick one, which one would I recommend? Um, if you do a lot of heavy editing, then probably Photoshop. But in general, I would go with Lightroom just because it makes your life easier. It's very organized, and you can still do a lot of the editing that you would normally do. Like there's um, graduated filters and, and masks and all the kind of stuff that I can apply. I have all my cropping, like I can crop the picture like this and go back and still make a new picture. So, so if I want to do a crop specifically for Instagram, then I can just do something like that. And then if I decide, oh, I want to go back and crop it for something else and I can just go back to the crop tool, make another crop. And there it is. Like if I want to do a 16 or 9, something like that, bam. And it doesn't destroy my actual image. And it's still organized among the rest of the files. It's real clean, real convenient. I have all my presets on the side. So it's very organized. And this is usually where the editing starts. So important to Lightroom, sort through the files that you want to edit. Maybe you want to compare two pictures together or something like that. Do all your adjustments, crop them, save them, all that good stuff. And when things get down and dirty and you really need to get into it, you go ahead and open it in Photoshop. Like I can literally open all these pictures at one time into Photoshop. I can go to edit in and Photoshop and all of them will open individually within Photoshop. I hope this video was helpful and I hope it cleared up any questions you might have had. And if I didn't answer any one of your questions, just leave it down in the comment section down below and I will try to get to that. I will also leave the link to any Lightroom presets that I have down below. So make sure to give me a thumbs up Follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.